Many of you have been asking for an update on my cancer situation, so that's what this video is going to be. It's just an update. First, let's start off with what my cancer is called, because I, I, I've called it a few things in the past. However, none of the names that have been really thrown out there by any of the oncologists uh, have stuck for very long. Uh, pretty much nobody really disagrees as to what Nobody agrees as to what kind of cancer it is I have. Uh, yeah, it's that rare. Okay, you know, I have a, uh, I'm a, literally a one in a million case, you know. <laughs> in fact, all the oncologists that I talk to, they, they always start off with like, yeah, you're a really unusual case. But we've classified it at least as far as like zone and type. Okay, it's a gastric type cancer. In other words, it's in my abdomen. And it is a diffuse type of cancer. Now, most cancers, they, they form in pockets or little tumors, okay? And, oh, which would really be nice if this was the case for me. But unfortunately, it's not. Because, you know, when it, when it tumorizes, though, you can just go in there and scoop them out a lot of times. And then just follow up with some chemo treatments to kind of clear up what was left behind. Mine being diffuse means that it spreads kind of like a like a, a web, a spider's web, or maybe like a, you could describe it as being spread like jelly on bread. Okay, it, it's diffuse. Okay, and therefore it doesn't tumorize, and therefore there's no possibility of operating on me and removing it because of the way that it spreads. And so yeah, that's that's the type of cancer that I have. You know, and and. I know I just recently had a CT scan, which it has been about a year now. Like uh, it was actually last Cherry Springs that we discovered that it, I had this cancer and everything. At least that's why I was so sick <laughs> the previous seven or eight months. And yeah, it's been just about a year because Cherry Springs is just a few weeks away. So anyways, let me tell you a little bit about the types of treatment and the kind of progress that I've seen so far. Now, I have I have been on three different blends of chemo so far. And really, chemo is the only way of treating the type of cancer that I have. Unfortunately, can't operate or anything like that, like I said before. And I've been on Fulfox, which I was on for about six months. And with Full Fox, we actually saw a good amount of progress. There were two separate CT scans that I had that showed a 30% reduction each time to total up close to about 50% reduction overall, which was certainly nice to see that kind of progress made. Unfortunately, I reached the end of how long I could be on Full Fox because Full Fox is a very hard chemo to be on. Uh, being on Full Fox for more than six months is very rare and very, very difficult to do. Because uh, I'll tell you what, when I full flux, I was really sick every other week. Or I should say, every 10 out of 14 days that I was on it. Now, what full flux did was it, it gave me neuropathy, okay? And what neuropathy is, is it, it's basically, it's where the lining of your nerves actually, or the insulation around them gets stripped away. And so, your nerves start sending all these really weird signals to your brain and your brain doesn't know how to interpret them because they're all jarbled essentially. And yeah, it's, it's in my feet and it's in my hands. I didn't get it in my mouth, thank goodness, because that's usually a place that you get it. But anyways, uh, uh, neuropathy, it's kind of like, you know, in your feet at least, it's, it's like you're stepping on Legos in your bare feet all the time. It's kind of painful, okay? And over the first week that I had ner the neuropathy from the full fox, it was so bad, I I went days without sleep because I couldn't get to sleep. Like it was like my fingers and hands were on fire all the time. It was it was really bad. Uh, but it's been gradually getting better. And in fact, the last like I would say about three weeks or so here, it's gotten to the point now where I can actually tolerate having shoes on. Uh, before, you know, it was wearing shoes was so painful. I mean, I, I was taking them off whenever I could possibly. And then uh, in my fingers, you know, like I, I can feel things. It's just things don't feel the same, you know, and I still have the kind of like the tingles and and so forth. But, you know, it's getting better now. Uh, then after that, I was on, I think, for about four or five months, just straight flex. OK, uh, chemo, which is just a uh, five FU 
chemo is what they call it. And with that, we didn't really see any shrinkage of the cancer, didn't see any growth of the cancer. It hasn't showed up anywhere new, thank goodness, because, you know, I am stage four here. Yeah, and I know, it, uh, yeah, here's another thing too, like, you know, a lot of people say, well, when are you gonna be done with chemo? You should be done by now, right? Unfortunately, I've got a long road ahead of me with chemo, okay? And because chemo is really the only way to treat this thing, and basically it's just we try this type of chemo out and we see if it works. We try that type of chemo out, see if it works. So the, the five FU wasn't quite cutting it; it was holding it steady at least. But kind of want to see some shrinkage, so they added another chemo to my blend. So I'm on my third recipe, so to speak, now, and it's called IOT Can. And IOT can, it, it gives you the runs to the bathroom, which I've actually had no problems with, thank goodness. Uh, it does a few other weird things though, like uh, here's a fun fact. So it actually makes uh, the fibers in your skin get tighter, okay? It's, it's almost like having Botox in your entire body. And in fact, when you kind of like, when I open my fingers, like I can feel my skin getting really tight. So uh, it, it has actually made me look younger, <laughs> which is kind of weird. <laughs> And a lot of people have even commented that, that like, hey, I look like I'm in my early 20s again. Uh, and yeah, like all my wrinkles on my face and stuff are gone. But uh, it also like your fingerprints disappear, you know, which is kind of weird. Like I know uh, fingerprint reading machines cannot pick up my fingerprints at all anymore. And when I look at them, I mean, they are smooth. There's, there's no fingerprints there. Well, so that's that's kind of one of the other weird side effects of the the current chemo that I'm on. Uh, I just had a scan uh, with this chemo because I've been on it for close to three months now. I've had six treatments with that I think now, and unfortunately, didn't see any change in size at least like in in the, in the initial analysis of it. However, uh, my oncologist she did tell me that at this point, my cancer has shrunk enough where it's pretty small and it's actually getting hard to measure changes in size which I guess is a good news okay and, and she did say that my last scan was a, a good result everything especially since there is no new cancer anywhere we've gone a full year here and we haven't seen it spread anywhere else thank goodness now uh, how long will I be on chemo I've, I've had oncologists tell me that I'll be on chemo until I, the day I die we'll see here but uh, I, I'm pretty determined to beat this. I know I, I only have a 4% likelihood of surviving past five years, according to the class of cancer that I'm in. But I think I'm doing pretty good. And I know I'm certainly in a much better place than I was last year. Okay, last year, oh boy. Now, now that I look back at last year at Cherry Springs 2023, I was actually really close to death. <laughs> <laughs> you know, now I look back at it, it's like, yeah, that's what it's like to die, you know. And uh, if things had continued to progress the way they had, you know, probably in about two or three more months, I would have been dead if it hadn't been for the fact that we discovered it and uh, started treating it with chemo. Now, I will be going to Cherry Springs again, which is just in a few weeks here. You know, it'll be my one year anniversary of knowing that I had cancer. And I'm going to take this guy with me. Uh, I'm also going to take my Sea Star, and that's it. Okay, I'm 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 packing really light this year because, uh, well, two things. You know, one, I, I don't want to kind of like stress myself with the energy of setting up all sorts of gear, and two, I just kind of want to keep things simple this year. Uh, the Sharp Star 121 Apple is also going to be at Cherry Springs, but somebody else will be using it, and then also. Uh, I'm gonna do some visual stuff. You know, I, I like doing visual astronomy and you know, Cherry Springs is a great place to do that. Usually you know, I set the camera up and then I go to my friends with their big daubs, <laughs> their big 20 inch obsession daubs and uh, I look through those eyepieces to kind of see this, the heavens that way and I get to see some pretty neat stuff that way. And, and that's kind of a bit of an update on my life. I know, with the current way, like th this is the way it's been for basically a year now, is that every other week I get chemo and every other week I, I don't work. You know, the week that I get chemo, I'm too sick to go to work. 
So yes, my income has in some ways been cut in half and a lot of the stuff that I would love to do in my machine shop, I haven't been able to do. I'm actually kind of months behind with a lot of products and production and so forth. And then with my day job, I'm not behind on any projects in my day job, but like I said, I, I can only work every other week. So my, my income really has been cut in half just about. But you know, we made adjustments to our lifestyle and everything. And you know, I'm the kind of person who doesn't live outside of my means. And yes, we're, we're doing okay, okay. And uh, I thank to all of you too, who have donated to my channel over this, this past year. I really appreciate it. That has helped a lot. Uh, now, I think that's about all I can think of as far as like what you guys kind of need to know about what's going on. And uh, I'm optimistic. I, know I certainly feel a lot better than I did a year ago and I'm looking forward to good things to have today in the future. I've got four kids, all of them under the age of four, and uh, I definitely want to see them at college or older.